Bonjour! You may be preparing for the TEF or you just want to be able to read some news items in French. However, you don't have the right vocabulary because it is a particular one. But in this video, you will learn that vocabulary and I've put it in alphabetical order for you with some headlines in French for you to read. And this is Fait divers part one because in part two, you will be able to write un fait divers in French. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti pour part one. What is a fait divers? Un fait divers is a short news item on accidents, burglaries, catastrophes, crimes, maybe flooding, murders, thefts, robberies, and I can continue and continue. But you need to have that special vocabulary to understand those short news items. But before we go into the vocabulary, I would like to share something with you. And that is a headline. Can you understand it? Un homme accusé de meurtre a été reconnu coupable. Il passera le reste de sa vie derrière les barreaux. Did you get that? Let me share the translation with you. A man accused of murder has been found guilty. So coupable is guilty. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Derrière les barreaux. Behind bars. And barreau is a bar. And this is derrière les barreaux. La lettre A. So we have l'ADN, which is DNA. Arnaque. Une arnaque. A scam. And the verb I selected is agressé, to attack. La lettre B. So we have bagarre, une bagarre, which is a fight. Une balle. I'm sure you know balle as a ball, but here we're talking about bullets, as you can see on the picture. Butin. Un butin. Loot. And if a person is injured, you're going to say blessé. And if the person is a female, it's going to be blessé with an extra E. And un braquage is a robbery with arms. And the person doing a braquage is un braqueur. La lettre C. Cambriolage. Un cambriolage. A burglary. And the person who does a burglary is a cambrioleur. Une chute. Une chute is a fall. Une crevaison. A puncture. And I had to use the word crime, even though it's the same word, but it's crime in English, but crime in French. Un crime. I had to add more words and I have a series of coups, coup de couteau, which is stabbing, coup de feu, which is gunshot, coup de poing, which is punch. And then we have chauffeur, which is a driver, but if you are a dangerous driver, you become a chauffeur. Here's another reading for you. Do you know what it is about? While the police has launched an appeal to try to find the missing person, the missing person is Suzy Lamarck. Disparu means missing, so it, she was missing on the 17th of June 2022. And then you have the age, the date of birth, where it was, and a contact number. And that is called an avis de recherche. La lettre D, we're going to start with dega, which is damage, and the verb which we would be using is causer 
de dégâts. Then we have the word drogue, which is, which is drug. But we have to be careful, it's drogue with an O. And then être porté disparu is to be missing. So we have to be careful here. We have the, the expression être porté disparu. Here's another headline for you. Un agent de sécurité agressé au couteau est décédé des suites de ses blessures. Do you know what that means? Here's a translation for you. A security guard, un agent de sécurité, a security guard attacked. So you remember we have the word agressé. So attacked with a knife, died from his injuries. So décédé is uh, décédé is died, and des suite de ses blessures. It's a fancy expression to say from his or her injuries. In this case, it's going to be his injuries. La lettre D, décédé, which is dead. Donc, l'homme est décédé. So, we're going to say the man died. Ok? So, l'homme est décédé des suites de ses blessures dans l'ambulance. The man died from his injuries in the ambulance. La lettre E, évacuer, to evacuate. So you could say, for example, les résidents ont été évacués. The residents have been evacuated. S'évader, to escape. And there's another uh, way of saying it. Prendre la fuite. Il a pris la fuite. He escaped. Une enquête est en cours. An investigation is underway. So here we have a man wearing a cagoule. A cagoule, which is a balaclava. So let's read another headline. Un braqueur encagoulé prend la fuite avec un butin d'un million d'euros. Did you get that? La lettre F. Yes, fire. So be careful because we have the word fire, which is masculine, le feu. But when we talk about smoke or flame, it's feminine, le feu, but la flamme or la fumée. And I would like to add a verb, which is fuguer, to run away. And fuguer is very often uh, referred to young people, adolescents, running away from home. And I wanted to introduce you to the word fusillade. Deux personnes ont été tuées dans une fusillade. Two people were killed in a shootout. Fusillade. Shootout. La lettre G. I have an expression for you which is en garde à vue, in custody. En garde à vue. And the second word is gendarmerie, which is police. Now you're going to ask me what's the difference between the police and la gendarmerie. Well, the gendarmerie is responsible for small towns and rural areas with fewer than 20,000 inhabitants and they also had a military training. The police, they don't. You can see the difference between la police municipale et la gendarmerie, they have different uniforms. La lettre H, heurté. Heurté, which is to hit. Heurté de plein fouet, to hit head on. And we have hors danger, out of danger. And another useful word, un homicide involontaire. Manslaughter. La lettre I, I pour inondation, which is flooding, as you can see. Incarcéré, incarcerated. 
intoxication alimentaire, which is food poisoning, and that is une intoxication alimentaire, it's feminine. And then we'll finish with a verb, which is interpeller, to take in for questioning. So here we have an incendie, which is a fire. And you could see something like, an incendie s'est déclaré dans un entrepôt. How would you translate that? An incendie s'est déclaré dans un entrepôt. This is my translation. A fire broke out in a warehouse. We are now moving to the, let the letter M, la lettre M. And we have three words which basically mean the same thing. Malfaiteur is a criminal. Meurtre is a murder and the person who is doing the murder is a meurtrier, a murderer. Donc je répète, un malfaiteur, meurtre, meurtrier. La lettre O, un octogénaire. Alors, un octogénaire is a, is a person who is in his or her 80s. And ouvrir une enquête. So, ouvrir, you all already know that ouvrir is to open, but it's also used for an inquiry. Ouvrir une enquête, to open an inquiry. La lettre P, and we have to talk about les pompiers or les sapeurs-pompiers, which is fireman. And a verb which is used a lot, uh, patrouiller, to patrol. But poignarder is one which is often used in those faits divers, to stab. And être poursuivi is to be sued. La lettre Q, we have quinquagénaire. A quinquagénaire is a person who is in his or her 50s. Quinquagénaire. Here's another headline. Un jeune poignardé lors d'une risque survenue le 14 juillet. So, what is it in English? A young man stabbed during a brawl on the 14th of July. La lettre R, relever un défi, to take up a challenge. Otherwise, we have another verb for you, which is renverser, to knock over. Une voiture a renversé un piéton. We could say a car hit a pedestrian. There is another word starting with R, which is les ravages. Les ravages causés par le cyclone. The devastation caused by the hurricane. La lettre S, les secours, the rescue. And the person involved in a rescue is a rescuer, and that is a secouriste. Un secouriste. Stupéfiant, narcotics. And a verb here, succomber à ses blessures. So that is an expression, succomber à ses blessures means to die from one's injuries. La lettre U, we have urgence, emergency. And the last letter for us today is V, la lettre V. Starting with viol, un viol, which is rape, and the verb is violer, to rape. Un vol à main armée, an armed robbery. Un vol à main armée, armed robbery. Un vomissement, un vomissement, vomiting. And now our last headline. L'homme qui comparait devant le tribunal pour homicide involontaire est le père de 10 enfants. Do you understand this headline? Here's my translation. 
the man who appears before the court for manslaughter is the father of 10 children. So new expression for you, comparaître devant, which is to appear before. For those who want to level up their French, il y a eu un accident, there was an accident, that's what you want to say, but is there another way of saying it? Of course, there is. You could say, un accident s'est produit or un accident s'est déroulé. Okay, so an accident took place somewhere, for example. Well, that's all I have for you today and sorry about the type of vocabulary I taught you today, but it is necessary if you want to understand un fait divers in French and part two will help you to actually write un fait divers. So what you need to do now is to learn the vocabulary first and then you'll be able to write your fait divers. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like it, share it with somebody who or someone who needs it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Au revoir.